all this stuff is gross. It's slimy and all gooey and all mm, that. Yeah, right. That, you can see why it's called slime, mm -hmm. right? It's also called a polymer. What's a polymer, Mr. Wizard? Well, a polymer is um, poly stands for many, and the mer part is stands for molecules. So oh. many molecules linked together to, to give a polymer. And in fact, you, many of the, the plastics that you, that you use in everyday life are polymers. The chemists have linked many molecules together. In fact, you're going to do that right now. Put that down over okay, there. Sure. And here are two chemicals in glasses. Mix them together. Okay. Just pour one into the other. Okay, right I'll pour this here. Okay, now here's a okay. stirring rod. Stir it up. Okay. You can see it's getting thicker every right. time I stir well, it up. Well, that's because the, the molecules that were once separated are now coming together and beginning to form those, those bonds and making longer molecules. Okay, dump it right out and... Okay. There. Oh. Go ahead, pick it up, yeah. Okay. Well, this stuff is even slimier than the first one. That's because it has a lot of the water left behind. Oh. Mm -hmm. So now you've taken chemicals that were sort of individual molecules like this, these beads, you see, and when mm -hmm. you mix them together, they formed... A linked sort of chain. Link, yeah, sort of chains. So that's what you're going to uh, do every time you make a polymer. Here, do you want to wipe your hands off with this towel? Because now we're going to... We're going to take the chains like this mm -hmm. and break them apart. But how could you do that? Because it's already together. Yes, well, you're going to do that with another chemical. And here it is in that uh, Petri dish right here. It's acetone, which is used as nail polish remover. Oh. So here's, a, here's the polymer cup called styrofoam. Okay. Punch a hole in the bottom. That's to let some of the acetone in. Now turn it upside down and put it there in the acetone. Okay. Watch what happens. Oh, it's starting to bubble and, right. and that. And it's eating the cup away. Well, it seems like it's eating the cup away, like an acid, right? Oh. But it's not. It's really just dissolving some of the bonds of the polymer and uh, letting out some of the air that was a trap, because you know that's a good insulator, right? Hey, that's neat. First we put it together, and now we're taking it apart. Right. So that's what's left of the polymer, known as styrofoam, when it was in a cup. Oh, it's now it's slimy now. Yeah.